I'm still trying to get into the Hunter Guild, so I'm starting today with a birdhouse run and then taking the boat back to Gilner. But I've got slightly sidetracked here. I find catching implants pretty fun and it's helped me on my goal here. The needle I got though was pretty useless and it's put me off them again. Took the fairy ring to Canifus to climb the roofs for a little bit. I want to get one more piece of that graceful outfit. So I collected as much of the marks as I needed and then I headed to Grace's shop. I bought the top here and now I just need the cape to finish the full set. But I'm not in a rush to get that because I love my arty cape way too much to replace it. Then I decided it was time to unlock a new transport method. I've got access to the hot air balloons but I haven't built all the little landing spot things yet and for that I need to go to Entrana. So I checked if I had any banned items, banged the ferry stick and the axe that I had, took the boat to Remington, walked all the way to Port Sam and I couldn't board the damn boat. I forgot that the flipping arty cape counted and I never take this thing off. But with it banked I headed to Entrana and tried to unlock the balloon spot in Varric first. It wouldn't let me take the trip though without 10 willow logs and I completely forgot to bring those with me. I'm a flipping balloon myself. I headed back to Draenor, grabbed them from the bank, took the boat back to Entrana again, did the balloon mini game thing which took quite a long time. Time. When it was over, I had finally unlocked the landing spot in Var. I'm hoping that that's going to be helpful for getting to here now, especially seeing as I can't see me unlocking that dig site teleport anytime soon. I still need eight more levels to be able to enchant the jewelry. That is so far off. I stored some logs in the basket here so that when I undoubtedly forget them in the future, I'll be fine. And then I took the balloon back to Entrana and did the same little game again, but this time to unlock the Castle Wars destination. With access to this balloon, now I can rub the jewelry rings that I've made recently to get here, hop on the balloon to Var, and from there hop on the boat to Fossil Island for my birthday house runs. This is as good a work around as I'm going to get at the minute I think instead of using that dig site necklace. It's much less running than from the Champions Guild I think anyway. And since it took me so long to do all of that I took the balloon for a test run to Varric and completed another birdhouse run. There was a slight delay in it because I had to take a test first but I got full marks and an XP book to show for it and I used that to up my herb lore to 31 and then replaced all my birdhouses and hit 47 hunter. I've actually surpassed the requirement for the hunter rumours now and I should finally be able to enter the hunter guild. So I took the bird from Varric to Varlamore, picked some sweet corn to store my bank and headed to the hunter guild for the very first time. I looked around here for where to get the rumours but couldn't for the life of me figure it out. After way longer than I would actually like to admit I headed into this giant hole which took me under the tree where I spoke to this girl behind the desk who directed me to the actual hunters. I tagged one of them to make this easier for next time and then spoke to him for my first ever hunter task. He wanted me to bring back the ear of a spine la route, yeah. I ran to find them and set up the trap when I got here but that wasn't actually the right one. These need a pitfall trap. So I set one of them up, poked it with my stick and then tried to coax it over to the hole. But it got stuck. I got it on stuck and got it here eventually. These things actually do a fair bit of damage. I hopped over the trap and it followed me. So I just ran away while chat explained to me that I had to set up another trap instead of using the same one over again. And this time it did fall in, but I didn't get the ear. So I did it again and I got the heckin' ear in the second one. I picked it up and rubbed my ring of jewel in to go to Castle Wars. From here, I hopped on the balloon to Varric, and then ran to the bird and took it to Varlamore. From there, I ran to the Hunter Guild, which was apparently a much longer way than just using the Arty Cape and then fairy ringing over to AGP. So don't do what I did, but anyway. So I was here, I spoke to the guy game, gave him the ear, and now my second task was the Horn Grax. I opened the reward bag before leaving and got some logs, meat, bone shards, and feed in it. I'll figure out those things later, but for now I'm using the fairy ring to go to CKR and doing the same kind of teasing and trapping method as before. I got what I needed on the third crack this time and handed it back over into the Hunter Guild. I got the new task of Spotted Kebet, which meant that I had to use the falconry method this time, which I haven't actually done before and I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get in here. But of course it was in the last place I looked. Once I got in, I asked the guy for a land of his bird and sent it out to kill the Kebets for me. This is much easier than that teasing thing and I upped a Hunter level while I was here too. Once I got what I needed, I took it back and got my fourth task. This time it was Odd Prickly Kebets and it took me ages to figure out which ones they were because I couldn't actually right click them unless there was some sort of thing on top of them like this ruby harvest. I'm not sure what was wrong with my game here but I got what I needed in the end and next up was strange wild cabot. I took the fairy ring back to the same place and I wasn't getting the piece I needed. Ages later I realised that it was telling me in chat that it wasn't dropping because my inventory was full but earlier it had dropped in the ground when this happened at pitfalls so that made no sense to me but I emptied the spaces and then got the item and took it back and then I got my next task which was a rare black warlock. Rare makes that sound quite difficult though so I think I'm going to leave that for another time. I've completed five tasks so far and I'm happy with that. I've wanted to be able to do these rumours for ages so I'm happy enough to end there for the day.